when I see these patients, I also think about looking for other clues. Like, do they have yeast issues? Have they been in lots of antibiotics? Are they on acid blockers, which cause yeast overgrowth? Yeah. Do they have other fungal issues? Do they have dandruff? Do they have anal itching? Do they have thrush or white coating in their tongue? Uh, you know, do they have vaginal yeast infections? Yep. Uh, do they have other skin markers of, of yeast, like little tinea or other kinds of things? So you'll see often a pattern of other issues yeah. around fungal stuff. Yeah. I'll check for H. pylori. I'll check again all the tests we we did talk about, and and see what's really going on. And then and then you know from the treatment point of view, um, you know you start with an elimination diet with an anti-inflammatory diet, yep. right? Exactly. Yeah. Putting putting patients on an anti-inflammatory elimination diet, you know, eighty percent of the time. Doesn't matter what they come in with; they're going to actually right. they'll actually get better. They they you know getting them off of the uh, pro-inflammatory foods uh, and then putting in foods which are uh, anti-inflammatory: uh, cold water fish, uh, sardines, wild salmon, um, uh, the essential oils like uh, uh, evening primrose oil help to sort of dampen down that uh, inflammatory response. Yeah, I agree. I think you know we don't understand most of us how powerful food is as medicine and how it can drive tremendous amounts of inflammation throughout the body. And, you know, obviously if it's on your skin, it's visible, but there's also invisible inflammation that you're not seeing that's driving all the chronic diseases.